Amelia Turner had always considered herself an ordinary person. A dedicated molecular biologist, she spent her days in the lab, fascinated by the intricacies of DNA and genetics. She lived a quiet life, content with her research and the occasional social gathering with friends. However, everything changed one evening as she walked home from the lab. It was a cool, crisp night. Amelia was lost in thought, reviewing the day's experiments in her mind, when a blinding light suddenly enveloped her. She tried to scream, but no sound came out. Her body felt weightless and she was lifted off the ground, her surroundings blurring into a swirl of colors. Panic surged through her as she realized she was being abducted. Moments later, Amelia found herself aboard an alien spacecraft. The sleek metallic interior was filled with advanced technology and strange glowing symbols. She was restrained on a table, surrounded by beings that were both humanoid and distinctly alien. Their elongated limbs, translucent skin, and glowing eyes made them look otherworldly. One of the aliens who appeared to be the leader approached her. Its voice was surprisingly gentle as it spoke. Do not be afraid. We are the Zalarians. We have brought you here because you possess unique genetic traits that are vital to our survival. Amelia's heart pounded in her chest. What do you want from me? She managed to ask, her voice trembling. The leader's eyes seemed to soften. We need your help to reproduce a new generation of Zalarians. Your genetic makeup will allow us to create a superbreed that can adapt and thrive in our changing environment. Amelia's mind raced as she tried to comprehend the alien's words. She had always dreamed of contributing to scientific advancements, but never in her wildest nightmares had she imagined being kidnapped for her genetic material. Her thoughts were interrupted as the leader continued. We understand this is a shock, it said, but we assure you we mean no harm. Our species is facing extinction, and we have no other option. You have been chosen because of your exceptional fertility and genetic resilience. Amelia took a deep breath, trying to calm her racing heart. And what if I refuse to cooperate? The leader's eyes softened further. We hope you will see the importance of our mission, but we will not force you. We will give you time to consider your decision. Over the next few days, Amelia was treated well by her captors. They provided her with comfortable quarters and allowed her to roam certain areas of the ship. She spent her time learning about the Zalarians and their plight. She discovered that their planet had been ravaged by environmental disasters, leaving them on the brink of extinction. Despite the kindness shown to her, Amelia couldn't shake the feeling of being a prisoner. She knew she had to find a way to escape or, at the very least, contact Earth. But as she got to know the Zalarians, she also began to understand their desperation. They were not the monsters she had initially feared. They were a dying species clinging to the hope of survival. One evening, as she looked out at the stars through a large viewport, Amelia was joined by Kira, a young Zalarian scientist who had become her friend. Kira shared stories of their once thriving civilization and the hardships they now faced. I know this is difficult for you, Amelia, Kira said softly. But our species is dying. Without your help, we have no future. Amelia's heart ached at the thought of an entire species being wiped out. She had always been driven by a desire to help others, and now she was faced with an unimaginable choice. If I agree to help, what will happen to me? She asked. Kira looked at her with sincere eyes. You will be treated with the utmost respect and care. We will ensure your safety and well-being. And once the process is complete, we will return you to Earth, unharmed. Amelia took a deep breath, feeling the weight of her decision. She realized that she had the power to save an entire species. I'll do it, she said finally. I'll help you. With Amelia's consent, the Zalarians began the preparations for the reproductive process. She was introduced to their advanced medical technology, which was far beyond anything she had seen on Earth. The procedure involved extracting her genetic material and combining it with Zalarian DNA to create hybrid embryos. As the days passed, Amelia underwent a series of medical examinations and treatments to prepare her body for the procedure. Despite her initial fear, she found herself fascinated by the Zalarian's scientific advancements. She worked closely with Kira and the other scientists, offering her expertise in molecular biology to ensure the success of the process. One day, as she was being prepped for the final procedure, Kira took her hand. Thank you, Amelia. You are giving us hope. Amelia smiled weakly, feeling a mix of fear and determination. Let's do this. The procedure itself was complex and took several hours. The Zalarian medical team worked meticulously, 
using advanced technology to combine human and Zalarian DNA. Amelia watched in awe as the process unfolded, feeling a strange sense of pride in her contribution. The first hybrid embryos were successfully created, marking the beginning of a new chapter in Zalarian history. Amelia was exhausted but relieved. She had done her part to help the Zalarians, and now she hoped for a swift return to Earth. However, the Zalarians informed her that the embryos needed to be closely monitored for the next few months, and they needed her assistance during this critical period. Amelia agreed to stay, understanding the importance of ensuring the embryo's survival. She spent her days in the lab, working alongside Kira and the other scientists, monitoring the development of the hybrids. She marveled at the rapid growth and adaptability of the embryos, a testament to the power of combining human and Zalarian genetics. As the months passed, Amelia formed a close bond with the Zalarians. She found herself deeply invested in their mission, driven by a newfound sense of purpose. She had gone from being a captive to an integral part of their team, and she felt a growing connection to the hybrid embryos she had helped create. The months passed quickly as Amelia worked alongside the Zalarians, monitoring the development of the hybrid embryos. She was amazed at the progress and adaptability of the hybrids, and her scientific curiosity grew deeper. But despite her growing bond with the Zalarians and the embryos, she couldn't forget that she was far from home, and her life on Earth was on hold. One evening, Kira approached Amelia with a concerned expression. Amelia, we need to talk. The monitoring phase is almost complete, and the hybrids are developing well. We will soon need to make a decision about the next steps. Amelia looked at Kira, feeling a mix of relief and apprehension. Does that mean I can go home soon? Kira nodded. Yes, but there is something else we need to discuss. We have received reports of a potential threat from a hostile alien species, the Varkans. They have learned about our hybrid project and may see it as a threat. We fear they might try to interfere or even destroy our work. Amelia's heart sank. She had grown to care deeply for the Zalarians and the hybrid embryos. The thought of them being threatened filled her with dread. What can we do to protect them? Kira's eyes met hers with determination. We need to be prepared for any possibility. Your expertise and our technology combined could help us devise a defense plan, but this also means that your departure might be delayed further. Amelia took a deep breath, feeling the weight of the decision before her. She had longed to return home, but she couldn't abandon the Zalarians and the hybrids now. I'll stay and help. We can't let the Varkans destroy everything we've worked for. Kira smiled, a mix of gratitude and relief in her eyes. Thank you, Amelia. Your dedication means everything to us. With the threat of the Varkans looming, Amelia and the Zalarians worked tirelessly to devise a defense plan. They combined their scientific knowledge and advanced technology to create protective measures for the hybrid embryos and the Zalarian facilities. Amelia's expertise in molecular biology and genetic engineering proved invaluable in developing solutions to enhance the hybrid's resilience and adaptability. As they prepared for the potential attack, the bond between Amelia and the Zalarians grew stronger. They became not just colleagues, but friends who shared a common goal and a deep sense of loyalty to one another. One night, as they were working late in the lab, Kira approached Amelia with a thoughtful expression. Amelia, I've been thinking about what you said earlier about going home. I want you to know that you are free to leave whenever you wish. We are grateful for your help, but we don't want to keep you here against your will. Amelia looked at Kira, her heart heavy with conflicting emotions. Thank you, Kira, but I can't leave now, not with the Varkans threatening everything. I've grown to care about the Zalarians and the hybrids. This is my fight, too. Kira's eyes shone with appreciation. You have a brave heart, Amelia. We are lucky to have you with us. As the days passed, the tension on the Zalarian ship grew. They received intelligence reports indicating that the Varkans were drawing closer. Amelia and Kira intensified their efforts, working around the clock to ensure their defenses were ready. Finally, the day came when the Varkans launched their attack. The Zalarian's defense systems were put to the test as the hostile ships approached. Amelia, Kira, and the rest of the team worked frantically to repel the invaders. The battle was fierce and chaotic. The Varkans were relentless, their advanced weaponry and aggressive tactics pushing the Zalarian defenses to the limit. Amelia found herself in the midst of the action, using her knowledge to adapt the defense systems in real time and coordinate with the Zalarian warriors. Amidst the chaos, Amelia and Kira managed to devise a plan to disable the Varkan ship's main weapons. 
They worked together, their combined expertise and determination proving to be a powerful force. With a series of calculated maneuvers, they managed to breach the Varkan defenses and execute their plan. The tide of the battle began to turn. The Varkan ships, now vulnerable and disoriented, started to retreat. The Zalarians, bolstered by their newfound strength and unity, launched a counterattack that forced the invaders to flee. As the battle subsided and the Varkans retreated, a sense of relief washed over the Zalarians. They had faced a formidable enemy and emerged victorious, thanks to the courage and ingenuity of Amelia and their combined efforts. In the aftermath of the battle, Amelia stood with Kira on the observation deck, looking out at the stars. The weight of the recent events settled over her, but she felt a deep sense of fulfillment and purpose. We did it, Kira said softly, her voice filled with gratitude. We protected our future, thanks to you. Amelia smiled, her heart swelling with pride. We did it together, Kira. I've never felt more alive or more connected to a mission. Kira placed a hand on Amelia's shoulder, her eyes filled with warmth. You are one of us now, Amelia. No matter what happens, you will always have a place here. As they stood together, gazing at the vast expanse of space, Amelia knew that her journey was far from over. She had found a new purpose and a new family among the Zalarians. Whatever challenges lay ahead, she was ready to face them with courage, determination, and the unbreakable bond she had forged with the beings she had once considered captors, but now called friends. The aftermath of the Varkan attack left the Zalarian ship and its inhabitants in a state of both relief and exhaustion. The crew and scientists worked tirelessly to repair the damage, heal the wounded, and reinforce their defenses in case of another assault. Amelia, though physically and mentally drained, continued to lend her expertise wherever it was needed. Amelia had become an integral part of the Zalarian team. Her knowledge of molecular biology and genetics had proven invaluable, and her bravery during the battle had earned her the respect and admiration of the Zalarians. She had gone from being a captive to a crucial ally and friend. One evening, as Amelia was finishing her work in the lab, Kira approached her with a warm smile. Amelia, you've done so much for us. We couldn't have made it through this without you. Amelia smiled back, feeling a deep sense of camaraderie. I'm just glad I could help, but we still have a lot of work to do. The Varkans might come back, and we need to be ready. Kira nodded, her expression serious. You're right. But for now, we should take a moment to rest and recover. You've earned it. Reluctantly, Amelia agreed to take a break. She joined Kira and some of the other Zalarians in the common area where they shared stories and laughter. The tension of the past weeks began to melt away, replaced by a sense of unity and hope. As the evening progressed, Amelia found herself talking with Kira about more personal matters. They shared their hopes and dreams, and Amelia opened up about her life on Earth, her passion for science, and the family and friends she missed. Kira listened intently, her eyes filled with understanding. You have given up so much to help us. I promise we will do everything in our power to ensure you can return home safely when the time comes. Amelia felt a pang of homesickness, but also a deep connection to the Zalarians. Thank you, Kira. This experience has changed me in ways I never imagined. I feel like I have a family here, too. Kira smiled, her expression warm. You do, Amelia. We are grateful for your presence and your friendship. Just as the Zalarians began to recover from the Varkan attack, they received alarming news. A reconnaissance team had detected signs of another approaching fleet. This time, it was an unknown species with technology even more advanced than the Varkans. The threat was imminent, and the Zalarians had little time to prepare. Amelia and Kira quickly rallied the team, working around the clock to devise new strategies and defenses. They knew that this new enemy could pose an even greater danger than the Varkans, and they had to be ready for anything. As the enemy fleet drew closer, the Zalarians activated their newly reinforced defense systems. Amelia worked tirelessly in the lab, developing enhancements to their weaponry and shielding. She collaborated with Zalarian engineers, blending human ingenuity with alien technology. The tension on the ship was palpable as the enemy fleet entered the system. The Zalarians braced themselves for the impending battle, their resolve unwavering. Amelia, now fully integrated into the team, stood alongside Kira and the other leaders, ready to face whatever came their way. The first wave of attacks hit with brutal force. The enemy's weapons were powerful and precise, testing the limits of the Zalarians' defenses. 
Amelia and Kira worked together, coordinating their efforts and making real-time adjustments to counter the assault. Despite their best efforts, the enemy continued to press their advantage. The Zalarians fought valiantly, but the sheer power and numbers of the enemy fleet threatened to overwhelm them. Amelia's mind raced as she searched for a solution, refusing to give up. In a moment of inspiration, Amelia remembered a piece of Earth technology that might help. She quickly explained her idea to Kira and the engineers, who immediately set to work implementing it. It was a risky move, but they had no other options. As the battle raged on, the Zalarians deployed the new technology. It created a massive electromagnetic pulse, temporarily disabling the enemy's weapons and communication systems. The tide of the battle began to turn as the Zalarians seized the opportunity to launch a counteroffensive. The enemy fleet, caught off guard by the unexpected tactic, began to falter. The Zalarians pressed their advantage, pushing the invaders back. Amelia's quick thinking and the combined efforts of the team had given them a fighting chance. Finally, after hours of intense combat, the enemy fleet retreated. The Zalarians had won another hard-fought victory, thanks in large part to Amelia's ingenuity and determination. As the dust settled and the ship's crew began to assess the damage, Kira turned to Amelia, her eyes filled with gratitude and admiration. You did it again, Amelia. You saved us. Amelia smiled, feeling a deep sense of accomplishment. We did it together, Kira. This is our victory. The Zalarians celebrated their triumph, but they also knew that the journey ahead would not be easy. The threats they faced were growing more formidable, and they would need to remain vigilant and united. Amelia looked around at her new family, feeling a profound sense of purpose and belonging. She had found a home among the stars, and she was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, side by side with the Zalarians. With the immediate threat from the unknown alien fleet behind them, the Zalarians and Amelia took the opportunity to strengthen their defenses and forge new alliances. The recent battles had highlighted the need for broader support, and Amelia suggested reaching out to other alien species who might share a common interest in peace and security. Amelia, Kira, and a delegation of Zalarian diplomats set out on a diplomatic mission to nearby star systems. Their goal was to establish a coalition of species willing to work together for mutual protection and advancement. They visited planets known for their technological prowess, military strength, and diplomatic influence. Their first stop was the planet Teloria, home to a species known for their advanced defensive technologies. The Tellurians welcomed the delegation with cautious optimism, intrigued by the possibility of an interstellar alliance. Amelia presented her case passionately, emphasizing the benefits of cooperation and the shared threat they all faced. One Tellurian leader, Chancellor Varric, listened intently. Your proposal is ambitious, Amelia, but how can we trust that this alliance will be in our best interest? Amelia met his gaze steadily. We have already faced two significant threats and emerged victorious through cooperation and ingenuity. Together we can pool our resources, share knowledge, and create a network that ensures our mutual safety and prosperity. Chancellor Varric considered her words before nodding. Very well, Teloria will join your alliance. We must stand together if we are to survive these turbulent times. With Teloria on board, the delegation continued to other planets, including the industrial world of Mechanus and the lush, resource-rich planet of Elysia. Each visit was met with varying degrees of skepticism, but Amelia's sincerity and the Zalarian's proven resilience gradually won them over. After several weeks of negotiations, the coalition was officially formed. Representatives from each allied planet gathered on the Zalarian homeworld for a grand summit. The atmosphere was one of hope and determination as leaders from diverse species came together to discuss their common goals and strategies. The coalition's first order of business was to establish a centralized command center for coordinating defense efforts and intelligence sharing. Amelia, with her deep understanding of both human and Zalarian technology, was appointed as the chief scientific advisor to the coalition. As the summit progressed, it became clear that the coalition was not just about military strength, but also about cultural exchange and mutual support. Delegates shared their unique technologies, medical advancements, and environmental solutions. Amelia found herself in awe of the vast array of knowledge and innovation that each species brought to the table. During a break in the proceedings, Amelia and Kira took a walk through the beautiful gardens surrounding the summit venue. The air was filled with the fragrance of exotic flowers, 
and the sky above was a tapestry of colors unique to the Zalarian atmosphere. Kira turned to Amelia, her eyes reflecting the vibrant hues of the sky. We have come so far, Amelia, from fighting for our survival to building an alliance that spans the stars. It's incredible. Amelia smiled, feeling a deep sense of accomplishment. It is, but we must stay vigilant. The threats we face are still out there, and we need to be ready for whatever comes next. Kira nodded. You're right, but with this coalition we have a better chance than ever before. We are stronger together. As the summit concluded, the coalition members agreed on a series of initiatives to enhance their collective security and prosperity. They established a rapid response force, shared technological research centers, and created a council to address any emerging threats. One evening after a long day of discussions, Amelia found herself alone in the observation deck, gazing at the stars. She thought about her journey from being abducted to becoming a key figure in an interstellar alliance. The path had been fraught with danger and uncertainty, but it had also been filled with purpose and friendship. Kira joined her, standing silently by her side for a moment before speaking. Amelia, you have been the heart and soul of this coalition. Your vision and determination have made it possible. Amelia looked at her friend, feeling a deep sense of gratitude. I couldn't have done it without you, Kira. You and the Zalarians have become my family. Together we've achieved something truly remarkable. As they stood together looking out at the vast expanse of the universe, Amelia knew that their journey was far from over. But with the strength of their alliance and the bonds they had forged, she was confident that they could face any challenge that lay ahead. The coalition was a beacon of hope in a galaxy fraught with danger, and Amelia was ready to continue her mission to protect and nurture this newfound unity. With Kira and the Zalarians by her side, she felt a renewed sense of purpose and determination. Together, they would build a future where peace and cooperation reigned supreme, and where the legacy of their alliance would endure for generations to come. The coalition had brought a newfound sense of security and optimism, but as Amelia and the Zalarians were soon to discover, not all members of the alliance shared the same vision of unity and peace. Unbeknownst to the coalition, a faction within the planet Mechanus harbored ambitions that went beyond mutual defense and cooperation. One night, as Amelia was reviewing data in the command center, an urgent message came through from a Zalarian spy stationed on Mechanus. The message revealed that a group of rogue Mechanus leaders, led by General Tarlon, was planning to seize control of the coalition's resources for their own gain. They had secretly developed a powerful new weapon and intended to launch a coup against the coalition. Amelia immediately called an emergency meeting with Kira and the other coalition leaders. The room was tense as she shared the intelligence. We have credible evidence that General Tarlin and his faction are planning a coup, Amelia said, her voice steady but urgent. They have developed a new weapon and intend to use it to take control of our alliance. Chancellor Varric of Taloria looked grim. We must act quickly. If Tarlin succeeds, the entire coalition will be at risk. Kira nodded. We need to neutralize the threat before they have a chance to execute their plan. Amelia, what do you suggest? Amelia took a deep breath. We need to gather more information about their weapon and their exact plans. I propose a covert mission to infiltrate Mechanus and gather the intelligence we need. Once we have the information, we can devise a strategy to counteract their coup. The coalition leaders agreed, and preparations for the mission began immediately. Amelia, Kira, and a small team of elite operatives were chosen for the dangerous assignment. They knew the stakes were high but they were determined to protect the coalition and prevent a catastrophic betrayal. Amelia and her team prepared for the covert mission with meticulous care. They equipped themselves with advanced technology and disguises that would allow them to blend in with the Mechanus environment. The mission was perilous, but failure was not an option. Under the cover of darkness, the team made their way to Mechanus, using a stealth ship to avoid detection. The planet's industrial landscape was a maze of factories and technological hubs, providing ample cover for their infiltration. Once on the ground, Amelia and Kira led the team through the labyrinthine corridors of Mechanus's central facility. They encountered several security checkpoints, but their disguises and forged credentials allowed them to pass through without raising suspicion. As they delved deeper into the facility, they located a secure server room that housed the data they needed. Amelia and Kira worked together to hack into the system, 
bypassing layers of security protocols. After several tense minutes, they successfully accessed the files detailing Tarlin's plans and the specifications of the new weapon. What we're looking at is a high-energy plasma cannon capable of massive destruction, Amelia said, studying the schematics. If Tarlin deploys this, he could decimate our forces and take control of the coalition. Kira nodded, her expression resolute. We need to disable this weapon and neutralize Tarlin's faction before they can act. With the data in hand, the team made their way to the weapons testing facility. The building was heavily guarded, but Amelia's quick thinking and Kira's combat skills allowed them to overcome the obstacles. They planted explosives at critical points in the facility, ensuring the weapon would be destroyed. As they set the charges, an alarm blared, indicating their presence had been detected. The team moved swiftly, engaging in a fierce firefight with Tarlin's guards. Amelia and Kira fought side by side, their coordination and trust in each other proving vital. Get to the extraction point, Amelia shouted, covering the team's retreat. I'll set the final charges. Kira hesitated for a moment but then nodded, leading the team toward the extraction point. Amelia finished setting the explosives and activated the timer, giving herself just enough time to escape. As she ran to rejoin the team, the charges detonated, destroying the weapon and sending shockwaves through the facility. The ground shook and flames erupted, but Amelia pushed forward, determined to make it out alive. She reached the extraction point just in time. Kira and the team pulled her aboard the stealth ship, and they made a rapid departure from Mechanis, narrowly avoiding the pursuing enemy forces. Back on the Coalition's central command ship, the team was greeted with relief and applause. They had successfully gathered the intelligence and thwarted Tarlin's plans, but the threat was not entirely eliminated. Amelia and Kira briefed the Coalition leaders on their findings. General Tarlin's faction has been severely weakened, but we need to remain vigilant, Amelia said. We must reinforce our defenses and continue to monitor for any further threats. Chancellor Varick and the other leaders expressed their gratitude and commitment to the Coalition's unity. Thanks to your bravery and quick thinking, we have averted a disaster, Varick said. We will stand together and ensure the safety and prosperity of our alliance. As the Coalition strengthened its defenses and solidified its unity, Amelia felt a renewed sense of purpose. The bond she had forged with Kira and the other members of the Alliance had proven unbreakable. They had faced betrayal and danger, but their resilience and determination had seen them through. Amelia knew that the journey ahead would still hold challenges, but with the strength of the Coalition and the bonds they had built, she was confident they could overcome anything. Together, they would continue to build a future of peace, cooperation, and mutual respect among the stars. With the immediate threat of General Tarlin's coup behind them, the Coalition took steps to ensure that such a betrayal could never happen again. They implemented stricter security measures and increased transparency among the member planets. Meanwhile, Amelia, Kira, and the rest of the Zalarians continued their efforts to strengthen the Alliance. Amelia received an unexpected message one day from General Tarlin himself, requesting a meeting. Skeptical but curious, she brought the message to Kira and the Coalition leaders. After a tense discussion, they agreed to the meeting, hoping to resolve any lingering hostilities and understand Tarlin's motives. The meeting took place on a neutral space station, with heavy security from both sides. Amelia and Kira entered the conference room, finding General Tarlin already seated, flanked by his loyalists. The atmosphere was thick with tension. Thank you for agreeing to meet, Tarlin began, his voice measured. I understand that my actions have caused great distress, and I wish to explain myself. Amelia leaned forward, her eyes fixed on the general. You endangered the entire coalition, General. Why did you do it? Tarlin sighed, his expression one of genuine remorse. I believed that the coalition was moving too slowly, that we were vulnerable to the threats we face. I thought a more aggressive approach was necessary to ensure our survival. I see now that I was wrong. Kira's eyes narrowed. And what do you propose now? Tarlin looked at her earnestly. I propose reconciliation. Let me and my faction help strengthen the coalition from within. We have resources and technology that can be invaluable. I swear my loyalty to the coalition and to its ideals. The room was silent for a moment as Amelia and Kira exchanged glances. Amelia spoke first. General, if we are to trust you again, there must be strict conditions. Transparency in all your actions, 
complete cooperation with the coalition's leadership, and a commitment to our shared goals of peace and unity. Tarlin nodded, accepting their terms. Agreed. I want to make amends and contribute to our common cause. The coalition leaders, after much deliberation, decided to accept Tarlin's proposal. They believed in the power of redemption and the importance of unity. With the general's resources and expertise, the coalition grew stronger, more cohesive, and better prepared for future challenges. With the reconciliation process underway, the coalition entered a new era of strength and cooperation. The integration of Tarlin's faction brought valuable resources and insights, enhancing the coalition's technological and defensive capabilities. Amelia Kira and the other leaders worked tirelessly to ensure that the transition was smooth and that trust was rebuilt. Amelia found herself busier than ever, overseeing various projects and initiatives aimed at solidifying the coalition's defenses and fostering interplanetary cooperation. One of her proudest achievements was the establishment of a coalition-wide research institute dedicated to scientific and medical advancements, bringing together the brightest minds from all member planets. Despite the demands of her work, Amelia made time to nurture her friendships and connections with the Zalarians and other coalition members. The bonds they had forged through their shared struggles and triumphs were unbreakable, and she cherished the sense of belonging and purpose they provided. One evening, as the Coalition's flagship cruised through the stars, Amelia stood on the observation deck, gazing out at the vast expanse of space. Kira joined her, the two friends sharing a moment of quiet reflection. We've come so far, Amelia said softly, her eyes filled with wonder. From being abducted to building an interstellar alliance, it's incredible. Kira smiled, her gaze warm and proud. And it's only the beginning, Amelia. Together we have achieved something extraordinary. We have proven that unity and cooperation can overcome any challenge. Amelia nodded, feeling a deep sense of fulfillment. We have, and we will continue to do so. The future is bright, and I'm grateful to be part of it. As the flagship approached a new star system, the promise of exploration and discovery beckoned. The coalition was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, united by their shared values and the strength of their alliance. Amelia knew that her journey was far from over. She had found her place among the stars, surrounded by friends and allies who had become like family. With Kira and the Zalarians by her side, she was confident that they could build a future of peace, prosperity, and endless possibilities. Together, they would explore the unknown, protect their worlds, and ensure that the legacy of their alliance endured for generations to come. As they ventured into the new dawn, Amelia felt a renewed sense of purpose and determination. The stars held countless secrets and adventures, and she was ready to embrace them all, knowing that the bonds they had forged would guide and support them every step of the way. As the coalition grew stronger and more unified, the time came for a new initiative that would expand their horizons and deepen their bonds. Inspired by the success of their collaboration, the coalition leaders proposed the Great Expedition, a mission to explore the uncharted regions of the galaxy. This expedition would not only seek new resources and allies, but also demonstrate their commitment to peace and cooperation. Amelia was appointed as the chief scientist of the expedition, a role that filled her with excitement and anticipation. The flagship, a state-of-the-art vessel named the Horizon, was prepared for the journey equipped with the latest technology from all coalition members. The crew comprised representatives from each allied planet, a diverse team embodying the spirit of unity and exploration. On the day of departure, the coalition leaders gathered to see off the expedition. Chancellor Varric, Kira, and other dignitaries delivered speeches, emphasizing the importance of the mission and their hopes for its success. As the horizon left the spaceport and set course for the unknown, Amelia stood on the bridge surrounded by her colleagues and friends. Kira was among them, her eyes shining with pride and anticipation. We are about to embark on a journey that will shape the future of our coalition and our galaxy, Amelia said, addressing the crew. Together we will explore new worlds, forge new alliances, and discover the wonders of the universe. This expedition is a testament to our unity and our shared vision for a better future. The crew responded with enthusiastic applause their spirits high as they ventured into the uncharted territories. The first few weeks of the expedition were filled with awe-inspiring discoveries, planets teeming with unique flora and fauna, 
ancient ruins hinting at lost civilizations and celestial phenomena that defied explanation. Amelia and her team worked tirelessly to document their findings, sharing their knowledge with the coalition in real time. The sense of wonder and excitement was palpable, and the bonds among the crew grew stronger with each new discovery. One evening, as the horizon orbited a particularly beautiful and mysterious planet, Amelia and Kira took a moment to reflect on their journey. They stood on the observation deck, gazing at the swirling colors of the planet's atmosphere. We've seen so much already, Kira said, her voice filled with wonder. It's incredible to think about what else is out there, waiting for us. Amelia nodded, feeling a deep sense of fulfillment. This expedition is just the beginning. We're not just exploring the galaxy, we're building a legacy of cooperation and discovery. Together we can achieve anything. As the great expedition continued, the crew of the Horizon encountered new challenges and triumphs. They faced hostile environments, navigated complex political landscapes, and built relationships with new species. Each experience strengthened their resolve and their commitment to the Coalition's ideals. One day, while exploring a distant star system, the Horizon received a distress signal from a previously unknown species. The signal indicated that their planet was in danger from a catastrophic environmental event. Without hesitation, Amelia and the crew set a course to provide assistance. When they arrived, they found a world on the brink of disaster. Volcanic eruptions, massive storms, and tectonic upheavals threatened to destroy everything. The Horizon's crew quickly mobilized, using their combined knowledge and technology to stabilize the planet's environment and evacuate those in immediate danger. Amelia led the scientific efforts, working alongside the local scientists to find a long-term solution. Kira coordinated the rescue operations, ensuring that everyone was brought to safety. The Coalition's presence and assistance were a testament to their commitment to peace and mutual aid. As the crisis was averted and the planet stabilized, the grateful inhabitants welcomed the Coalition as heroes. They expressed their desire to join the Alliance, eager to contribute to the shared goals of exploration and cooperation. The success of the rescue mission reinforced the importance of the Coalition's work and the bonds they had forged. Amelia and Kira reflected on their journey knowing that they had made a lasting impact on the galaxy. Years later, as the great expedition continued and the coalition grew, Amelia and Kira stood on the observation deck of the horizon, now a symbol of unity and discovery. The galaxy was a different place filled with new allies and opportunities thanks to their efforts. We've built something truly remarkable, Kira said, her voice filled with pride. The coalition is stronger than ever, and our legacy will endure for generations. Amelia smiled, feeling a deep sense of fulfillment. We've shown that unity and cooperation can overcome any challenge. Our journey has just begun, and the future is filled with endless possibilities. As the stars stretched out before them, Amelia knew that their work would continue. The great expedition was more than a mission. It was a symbol of hope and a testament to what could be achieved when diverse species came together with a shared vision. Together, they would explore the unknown, protect the innocent, and ensure that the legacy of their alliance endured. The galaxy was vast and filled with wonders, and Amelia, Kira, and their friends were ready to embrace it, confident that their unity would guide them through whatever lay ahead.